Guys, today we're going to be heading back over to the Macari app to see if we can find some crazy deals on some Funko Pops for a very special person here in the Funko Pop community. Plus, we have to unbox the Pops that we picked up in last week's episode. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for part three of our Mercari Funko Pop hunting deal series right here on the channel. This is the third video segment. If you guys have not seen episodes one and two, make sure you guys go back after watching this video and check those videos out because we are very happy with the deals that we picked up from the Mercari app. If you guys are not familiar with Mercari, it is a fantastic marketplace where you can actually buy and sell Funko Pops, and there's a lot of great sellers on there. And the purpose of these specific videos is to show you guys how important it is to stick to a budget, but still allowing you guys to pick up some Funko Pops off of your wish list that you've been wanting for a long time. And today's video is no exception. It is a big one because we are actually gonna be picking up perhaps one big grail for a very special member of this incredible community. And that is none other than Vince from the Poppin' Duo. If you guys were on our Pop Force One stream a few weeks back, I actually said in honor of his birthday that everybody's super chat that night would be tallied up. We'd see how much money we'd get and then I would match that amount and then we would go out and find a nice grail for Vince's collection. Well, Due to the awesomeness of you guys, we actually raised just about $50. So we are gonna be actually matching that total, adding our own $50 to that amount. And then on top of that, Jim, AKA Rock and Row, if you guys are not subscribed to his channel, go give him a subscribe right now because he was kind enough to match it himself. And he added another $50, giving us a budget for today's video of $150. So I am very excited in a couple minutes here. We are actually gonna be jumping on the Macari app and we're gonna see what deals we can find. And hopefully we can pick up a nice pop or two for Vince's collection. But before we do that, we're actually gonna unbox the pops that we picked up in our Macari part two episode. And like I said, if you guys didn't see that, make sure you go check it out. That episode was very special because we actually picked up some pops for Joanna's collection. So we do have some good news and unfortunately a little bit of bad news. So one of the sellers who sold us a Barnacle Boy Funko Pop, which we are very excited about getting for Joanna's collection, unfortunately had a fake NYCC con sticker on that pop. So we did actually have to send that one back and return that pop, but Macari uh, accepted the return, no questions asked, which is another great feature of the Macari app. So we do have two out of the three pops that we did picked up for Joanna's collection from that episode. If you guys wanna find out how much we paid, like I said, you're gonna go have to go back and watch that episode. So here is the first pop, and I know Joanna is very excited to be adding both of these to her collection, and I'm gonna give you guys a first-hand look at how some of the Macari sellers are routinely packing their pops. So here is the first box right here. Let's see, and it looks like we do have a good amount of tissue paper inside here, which is always great. On top of that, they did wrap the pop with bubble wrap, which is always great to see. And this one here is a big one that I know Joanna has been waiting for for her collection. So this is from the Moana line. If you guys have been following us for a little while now, then you will have heard us talk about the Moana pops quite a bit as we are trying to complete Joanna's Moana collection. So here is Maui. And uh, he's looking pretty good, not bad. We got a great deal on him right here. So there is Maui. And just by the way the box is designed with how big his face is right here, I have a feeling Joanna is gonna be taking this one out of box so you can fully appreciate how awesome he looks. So not bad, Seller did a great job wrapping up the pop. So now let's move into box number two. All right, so here is box number two. And uh, this one has a big grail that I know Joanna has been wanting to get for her Disney collection for a long time. If you guys didn't catch our video yesterday, we actually just went out to Ikea. We built some new shelves. We are giving our collection room a complete overhaul, a full revamp so we can proudly display a lot more of our collection. And uh, we're gonna have a full collection tour very soon right here on the channel. 
So make sure you guys subscribe because you are not going to want to miss that. All right, once again, the Mercari seller for this pop also did a great job with the packaging. We have bubble wrap and they wrapped the pop up in bubble wrap. So two for two on packaging. And I will say the person who did ship the Barnacle Boy pop also did a great job packing up the pop. However, that sticker was just not authentic. The pop was real, sticker was not. All right, so here is... The big pop for Joanna's collection, and uh, yes, she is going to be very excited about this. We're going to have to get this bad boy in a hard stack ASAP. And now looking over condition here, I mean, you guys, if you saw the video, you saw we analyzed the pictures down to a T, and uh, this pop does not disappoint. Check this out, guys. We have from the Ratatouille line, Alfredo Linguini. And uh, this pop has been going up quite a bit in value. So that is why we had to move this to the top of our wish list and uh, make it a prime target for picking up. But now we actually have it in our collection. Joanna does have Remy. She also has the Remy Chase. We even have the Remy Soda. The last one we are missing is a meal. So maybe in a future Macari episode, or maybe I can find a deal somewhere else, uh, I will have to pick up a meal. So her Ratatouille collection can be completed. All right, so now without further ado, we have $150 to spend. Let's jump on over to the Macari app. All right guys, so just recapping, if you guys don't know Vince, from the Poppin' Duo, they have a fantastic Family Funko YouTube channel. Of course, I will link it down below. Uh, them and the rest of Pop Force One's channel links are actually in the description of every single one of our videos. Uh, myself, Professor Josh, Rock and Row, and the Poppin' Duo make up Pop Force One, which is our weekly Thursday night live stream. We've actually been doing it for about a year and a half now, and I uh, absolutely love all three of the guys, and Vince is no exception. And I'm very happy to be doing this video because Vince has actually done a lot of kind things for a lot of members in the community, probably some of you guys watching. So now we get to have some fun, head on over to Macari and see if we can find something cool for his collection. Now he did give me a little bit of an idea of some of the stuff he's looking for. And I also picked up some key hints from some of their recent videos of some pops that they are trying to hunt down. So I have a pretty good list. We have a $150 budget. And uh, here we go, let's jump into Mercari. Now I did some pre-scouting to try to see if I could find some good deals and uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun because there's a lot of stuff out there that is uh, on Vince's list. So the first collection that I know he's looking and finishing is the Scooby-Doo collection. Recently they came out with the Scooby-Doo sodas and he did tell me that he is looking for Daphne and Velma, which are two pops that have been going up quite a bit, the original wave here. So we're gonna start out with Daphne. Let's go for Daphne here, and let's see what we can find for Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Also guys, as a disclaimer, as we're going through the video here, if you do see an address up on the screen, that is not our home address, that is our P.O. box. Uh, feel free, you guys can go visit the UPS store over in Natick, Massachusetts at any time you would like. There's some great people over there. However, that is not our home address. All right, so let's see what we got here for Daphne. I see we actually have the whole wave of Scooby-Doo Pops for 325 plus shipping. Six people actually have this one in their cart. You do get Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, Scooby-Doo, and Fred, which is pretty cool. If you are looking to try to get the whole set, you can just do it right here with this listing and call it a day. All these Pops do look to be in very good condition. This line came out in 2016. So we're hunting a line here that is six years old. So that is why some of these Pops are going up. Plus, Scooby-Doo is a very beloved animated series. A lot of people identify with the characters and you know they watched them as kids. Now they're adults with disposable income, so they wanna collect those pops. All right, so we're not gonna get the whole set because I know he does have Shaggy, Scooby, and Fred. So we're just looking for Daphne or Velma. Um, so right here, um, just to give you guys an idea, Daphne's current PPG is $70. And I do not see any Daphne pops around $70. We have one for 85 one for 95 you know the purpose of these videos is is to try to get some good deals in the process uh, of course today is a special episode because we are buying kind of a birthday present but i do still want to see if we can get some good deals uh, right here we have a 98 dollar one that's 11 percent off that's always nice it, it is down from 110 their original asking price we have one for 100 we have a signed one for 850 dollars 
That one is going to be staying there. That's that's a little pricey there. We do have a nice bundle here of Daphne and Velma. This one would have been perfect if it was in our budget. 100% would have grabbed this, no questions asked. Um, but 238 is out of the budget for today's video. We have another one for 95 right here. It is a contender. Let's check out the condition right here. So this is $95 plus $6 shipping. Overall, the box looks pretty good. You probably can see on your screen to the right side of the picture there is a little bit a little spot where the glue is coming undone on the two sides of the box that is normal for pops that start to age um, so that's not really any kind of damage on the fault of the collector and of, of course you know once you put the pop in a pop protector it does you know help reinforce the glue this one does look pretty clean it's $25 over PPG um, I'm gonna put this one in the cart just to start. Oh, I don't wanna make this an offer. I am gonna put this one in the cart just to get things rolling, but I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing this one just because that does eat up about two thirds of our budget, but you never know. I, I know, you know, it is one that Vince needs, you never know. But let's check on Velma here. So Velma, Velma is even tougher to find right here. So we have one for 115, one for 130, one for 120. And also, to keep in mind, guys, we want to maximize our budget. And when I say we have a $150 budget, that means we cannot go over $150, including shipping fees and taxes. That is it. That is the cap. It's not $150 for the pop price. And then if we go over, we are pretending as if we are going into a Funko store and we only have $150 to spend. And when you go to that cash register, you still got to account for tax. All right. Let's see here. So there's that bundle again of Velma and Daphne. Like I said, that would have been perfect. Uh, we have one for 120. Keep in mind the PPG for Velma is 120. So somebody asking 120 is very fair for her. We have one for 127. We have another bundle here where she's in there uh, looped into that 180. We have one for 140. We have an out of box one for $86. That's a little pricey for out of box. And then we have one for 140, another one down here for 155. So not too many options. Let's check out the 115. 115 is under PPG. So let's check this one. So right away in the top left-hand corner, I do see that it looks like somebody dropped this pop at some point. So there is a little ding. So that would probably explain the $5 below PPG. Um, hmm. The back looks clean, side looks clean, top looks clean, bottom looks clean. I don't know though. I think if I was Vince, he would probably spend an extra $5 to get a mintier pop. So let's check out the 120 here. Um, 120, guys, look at this. So you can always get a good judge of how popular a certain pop is or if people are looking for it based on how many people have liked it, which is 30, including myself, as well as how many people have this one in their cart, which is nine people as of right now. The filming of this video, there are nine people currently contemplating pulling the trigger on this Funko Pop. All right, so let's see here. She does look pretty clean on the top and the front here. I'm not seeing any issues. Side looks good, back looks good. Looks like someone just threw it on their bed and said, hey, you know, let me take some pictures and throw it on Macari. This one does, oh, I was gonna say this one looks great. Except for that sticker on the bottom. That is a bummer. So sometimes those stickers can be a real pain to get off. Um, sometimes comic book shops, other Funko stores, they'll put those barcodes on there. That is not from Funko. That is a secondhand store who probably put that on there. <sighs> That's a real bummer. I was just about to say this pop looks mint and is a great grab for 120 but... <sighs> You know what? I'm going to put this one in the cart because it is on the bottom and maybe, just maybe, that sticker is, you know, somehow in a way able to get that off. So I'm going to put that one in the cart for right now. Obviously, we are way over our budget. So what I want to do here is just put some stuff in the cart, play around with some numbers and see what we can come up with. 
All right, so now let's move into, I know that Vince said in one of his recent videos that they are currently hunting the Batman animated series line, and which is also why I whipped out one of my brand new Batman shirts. I actually got this on sale for two bucks at GameStop. So check your local GameStops. They have some great deals right now, possibly on apparel. So let's see what we can find Vince from the Batman animated series line which is a great line of pops especially if you're a dc fan or collector and a lot of those pops have been going up in value as of recently so let's start out by looking at let's go with batgirl batgirl right now is still pretty affordable as long as you can spell her name right which is something that i'm not doing right now all right so let's look for batgirl now batgirl is by no means a grail so this pop would be in addition to maybe one of the other Scooby-Doo pops we have here without going over our 150. Oh, I do have to put the uh, the number. There's a lot of Batgirl pops. So let me see really quick. All right, so here's a Batgirl. So it's Batgirl 154. Batgirl 154. And that'll help narrow it down. So that is a great tip, guys. If you're looking for a specific character where there's a lot of versions of his or her pop, make sure you put the number that'll help um, you know, narrow down your search. All right, so the PPG for Batgirl right now is around $25. Oh, and look, someone just bought this one on July 1st for $25. That would have been a good deal. I see we have, actually, we don't have that many of them. There is not that many Batgirls. So Batman Animated Series is going up because if you want to get one of these, there's none for under PPG. I see we have one for $32. And this one looks beat. Yeah, that one's rough. All right, let's check out this $35 one, which is $10 over PPG, which is not something that I was hoping to do. There's no other pictures of this one. All right, so it looks like we might have to pass on Batgirl and find ourselves another pop to go with. Not a lot of inventory for the Batman animated series pops. All right, so now let's move into Robin. So Robin is number 153 in the line. Robin is a little bit more than Batgirl right now, going for, let's see, $49. So that would eat up one third of our budget. But there is one for 35. Nope, that one is super damaged. We are definitely not getting that one. All right, so let's back out of this listing and see what else we can find. There is one for $44, so this is something that I like to see. This is under PPG, $5 under PPG here. Let's take a look at the pictures. Let's see here. So far, Robin looks pretty clean here. Really like this Robin, by the way. If you guys haven't seen the Batman animated series, definitely go check it out. Very worth the watch. It's coming in at 20, or from 2017, this is $5 under PPG. I'm not seeing any kind of damage or anything. Let's read the description. $44 plus $6 shipping. Vaulted and hard to find. Uh, he's not wrong there. This item is in great condition. I provide photos of all sides of the box. There is some slight window scuffing. All right, so let's check that out. Ogar 66, some slight window scuffing. I'm not seeing anything. So it must be really light. Oh, he does provide it on this picture. Honestly, that's not too bad. I, I mean, that's, I think that's pretty good. That's still worth getting the discount under PPG for a pop that's gonna continue going up. I'm gonna say yes to this one. We're gonna put this one in the cart. Six other people already have this one in their cart and 20 people have liked it. So let's do a cart update here. We are way over our budget right now because we have two grails. Uh, we have Daphne, Velma, and then now we just added Robin. So I'm gonna remove uh, I'm going to remove Velma because Velma is a little bit over. And if we can get two pops for our $150 budget, I think that'd be a good win. So let me remove Velma here and see where we're at. So we're at $139 for our subtotal, which brings us to uh, a little bit over our budget here. So that's going to bring us to, with tax and shipping, $160 and five cents so we're gonna have to backtrack and uh, we're gonna have to play with the numbers a little bit here so let's go see what else we can hunt all right so i have a couple more ideas for some pops that we can pick up for vince starting out with one that is starting to be a grail it has been on the rise recently and it is one that i think if i can snag now for vince's collection it would prevent him from having to pay more in the future and it is part of the batman animated series line and that is mr Freeze and Mr. Freeze 
This is my favorite version of Mr. Freeze. It is a DC Legion of Collectors pop uh, exclusive. And uh, this one currently has a PPG of 80 five dollars so there's only a few of them on here i see we have one for 90 we have one for 80 we have another one for 110 we have another one for 199 dollars and then another one for 160 dollars so some people are trying to take advantage of that recent rise in price let's check out the 80 dollar one here because 80 dollars five dollars under our ppg so let's see this one like i said dc legion of collectors exclusive and this pop is just beautiful. I love the way they did the face mask and everything. His suit and everything is awesome. And this one looks to be in, in pretty good condition. I'm not seeing any flaws or anything from 2017. Yeah, he looks pretty clean. Um, the seller did a great job with pictures here. I'm going to give this one a like. $80 plus $6 shipping. Let's see what this person says. Uh, please examine closely for all flaws, minor shelf damage present. I mean, like I said, this is a five-year-old pop. This line is starting to get up there. So any kind of, you know, slight shelf wear or anything like that, you're going to see that. Um, I've never taken it out of the box. You will receive this item. Careful packaging and quality materials. Okay. So you know what? We're going to add this one to the cart. This was posted five hours ago. Wow. All right. So this one's recent. Let's add this one to the cart and let's see where we're at here. Maybe we can pick up Mr. Freeze and Robin for Vince's collection. So I'm going to take out Daphne. Unfortunately, Daphne was just too much over PPG for today's video. That gives us a subtotal of, let's see, that's going to bring us to subtotal of $124. Shipping is $12.36 and then tax is $7.75, bringing us to $144. So that's pretty good, $144. We are still under the budget. Let me see what other Mr. Freeze Pops they have, because maybe we can get a different one or maybe one that's in more mint condition. Actually, I don't even see any other ones that are, there's this one for $90, but this one's this one isn't a hard stack. Actually, you know what? Let's stick with the Mr. Freeze we have. Let's see if we can find a different Robin Pop, one that's in a little bit better condition. If we can get both those for $150, I would call that a very good day. I believe Robin was $153 in the line. Let's see. So there's two of them. Oh, there's this other one for $39. I didn't even see this one. Near Mint with Protector. Let's do this one. $39. So this is actually less than the one we had in our cart. Yeah, this one looks really clean. All right, so I'm gonna put this one in our cart instead of the other one. Let's see here, let me take this one out. Now let's see what our subtotal is. So we, we are actually coming in even lower. So our subtotal now is $119, $12 plus shipping, and then $7 with tax, bringing us to $138. We still got $12 left to play with. All right, so let me try one more thing, and then uh, if not, I, I think we're going to pull the trigger on both of these two pops. All right, so before we go on and do some more hunting and play around with numbers and everything, I actually just changed my mind right here on the spot. So because we have uh, about $11 and um, you know 20 cents left over, I am going to have to get these pops for the next episode. I'm going to have to put Mr. Freeze in a hard stack because he's definitely going to deserve a hard stack. And then I'm going to need to ship these pops to Vince. So I think I'm going to save the rest of the money that we saved from our budget to put towards that hard stack and shipping them to Vince. Because I think we honestly did very well. We're coming in, um, let's see, $10, $15 under PPG for two great pops that Vince needs for for his collection. So I think we are going to check out right here $138.80. Hopefully both these pops come in the next few days. I'll be able to unbox them for the next episode and then boom, I can send them off to Vince for his collection. So here we go. Processing our payments. Boom, order confirmed. So I just want to once again give a big thank you to everybody here in the community who was on that PFO live stream that we did for donating the Super Chats 
um, really means a lot that we were now able to get some awesome pops for Vince's birthday that he can uh, hopefully put towards his Batman animated series collection and move forward with completing the rest of that line. If you guys, once again, haven't subscribed to the Pop and Duo, make sure you guys go ahead and do so. And that is going to bring us into our Monday motivation for today. There's been a lot of talk amongst the community about channel growth, specifically with Funko YouTube channels. So for today's Monday motivation. I want to let you guys know that the most important thing you can do for any channel is support them. And that is not just the viewer, that is us as content creators as well. Whether a channel has 30 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers, or 300,000 subscribers, Everybody needs support because when we get that like, when we get that comment, when we get that bump in subscribers, that is a huge boost of motivation that allows the content creator to keep going and making great videos. So everybody who has been giving us some love and helping our channel grow, thank you so much. But we also wanna see other people's channels in the entire Funko YouTube community continue to grow. And I hope this serves as motivation to anybody out there who has a Funko YouTube channel. Keep going. If your passion is to grow your channel and continue to make awesome content, go for it and don't let anybody hold you back. I'm really excited for the future of the Funko YouTube community. I think there's going to be a lot of people rising in the ranks. And I also think there's going to be a lot of people who start channels who have yet to do so. So if you are thinking about starting a Funko YouTube channel, maybe you're thinking about starting a TikTok um, or making reels on Instagram, 100% go for it because the more content we have means the more videos that we get to watch and enjoy as collectors who are taking part in this amazing community. And with that being said, guys, remember tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we are going to be back on Whatnot for our weekly auction stream. It's going to be a great time, and a lot of you guys are going to want to be there because we are giving away the brand new SDCC Flocked Chrysanthemum from Star Wars. So this is going to be the first of our three San Diego Comic-Con pre-release giveaways. You guys are not going to want to miss out on this one. This one will be our whatnot giveaway. The uh, Cassian Andor pop will be given away at some point to all of our followers on Instagram. And then we are going to be giving away the brand new Glow in the Dark Supersonic to one of you guys, our subscribers right here on YouTube. So stay tuned for those announcements. Guys, we have a pop mystery box and a soda mystery box already loaded up and ready to go for tonight. So if you want to jump in on those boxes make sure you do so i believe half the runs uh, for both runs are already sold out so we're going to be opening up those boxes live got a lot of great chases and some great pops that people are going to be pulling so you definitely don't want to miss out on that Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you think I got some good deals for Vince's collection. Make sure you don't tell him right away so maybe he gets a little bit of a surprise even though I know a lot of people are going to be rushing over to tell him what we picked up. But sincere, sincerely, thank you guys for all the support. It's really awesome that we were able to do this type of video. And with that being said, guys, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all tonight.